Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Victor Melcher and today we're gonna to be talking about some of the reasons why I love film photography. So I recently got into film photography a few months ago and it's quickly become something that I've grown very fond of. Just the overall film experience and the results you get, they're unlike anything I've done visually, it's so refreshing and I gotta say film is definitely worth the hype. So let's just get straight into it. Reason number one is risk and reward. The first risk is actually within the camera itself. Film cameras are incredibly durable, but in terms of reliability, it is a bit of a gamble because it could literally break on you mid-shoot, and that's actually happened to me with my previous film camera, my Mamiya 645 Super. On that camera, the electronics just stopped working on me after the second shoot. Thankfully, I haven't had any problems with my Bronica ETRSI. thank God. And most of all, you really don't know how the photo's gonna turn out because you could think that you just took a banger photo and it just really was. It. So overall, there's just so many more risks and complications when comparing film to digital. But also in that risk, I would say there's also a high reward in the sense of when you finally get a photo back and it's exactly what you envisioned, it just feels so much more rewarding, I would say. When you did take a photo that everything worked out, you metered properly, your focus was on point, your composition was on point, all of those things that I think are easy to take for granted when shooting digital, it just means a lot more when you capture them because you really put all that work and effort into it. And I think within the anticipation itself, it almost feels like you're waiting for a package in the mail or you're waiting to open Christmas presents. Even though you might know what it is, there's still that excitement and that mystery and you don't know how it's gonna turn out until you see it. And the next reason is the overall film experience. Compared to shooting digital, I feel like film is a much more limiting and slow process. But that's really forced me to think a lot more about my shots and also the setting or the time of day that I'm shooting in. Because one, the film rolls. If you're not familiar with medium format film, this is a medium format 645 camera. So I get 15 shots per roll. And not only the fact that there's a limited amount of shots, but you're also somewhat limited to the ISO or the speed of the film. There's just a bunch more stuff to stop and kind of think about before you go out and shoot with film. Thankfully, I feel like Portrait 800 is kind of like the cheat code because I've shot broad daylight with this but I've also shot in lower light conditions and I feel like it's kind of versatile in every situation but anyways I think that's for another video and depending on the film camera you could pretty much be losing every automatic setting that a digital camera gives you for example with the Bronica I have no autofocus every shot I have to light meter make sure all my settings are right on the camera so with losing all of those automatic settings it takes me significantly longer to even take a single shot but that's overall made me much more intentional as a photographer and the next reason is tangibility every step of the process has this tangibility and this physicality to it that I haven't really found with digital and I've always wanted to take more photos but digital just never really intrigued me but all the steps you have to go through to create an image for a film camera it's just so much more interactive and fun from loading the film to winding the film to light metering and pulling focus all that process it just takes a lot more to create a photo and I think that really makes film photography fun and I think that's why it's still so popular and also I I think the most tangible aspect of film is just the fact that when you take a photo you're getting a physical copy it's not going on to an SD card it's an actual roll of film I think that's so cool and the last reason why I love film photography is the film look Speaking of the look and feel of things, I want to thank Cuts Clothing, who's the sponsor of this video. They recently sent me over two of their shirts, specifically the frame tee, and for the colors I got black and granite. This is more of a relaxed tee, and I got them in size large because I wanted a bit of an oversized fit. For reference, I'm 5'6", so I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but I do like how the large fits. But they do offer a variety of different styles, so if oversized isn't really your vibe, you can definitely find a style that fits you. Alright, so the first thing I noticed right when I put on the Cuts shirt is just the overall breathability, and I really like that so this shirt doesn't feel like overly thin but it also doesn't feel super thick and stiff so it's like a nice happy medium between that I really like the way this shirt just kind of sits and this is perfect overall the quality of the material is really great and it feels really comfortable when you're wearing it and there is a huge Black Friday sale going on right now but if you do happen to miss it you can click the link in the description or use my code Victor Melcher underscore at the checkout to get 15% off of your purchase anyways back to the video so even though we have amazing camera technology now as compared to these 30 year old cameras, I think the fact that we're still trying to emulate film, whether that be through plugins, filters, or presets is a great compliment to the overall characteristics and look of film. And the most notable characteristic to me is just that film photos tend to have this timeless look. 
Even with context clues that you might see in a photo, like an iPhone or a newer car or a clothing style, for some reason that frame can just look timeless. It could have been shot yesterday or 20 years ago. And that timeless look and feel can be replicated in my opinion when using some really good presets and stuff like that. But I think there will always be a special place for film itself just because when you shoot the shot, you're not trying to make it look timeless. You're getting the shot and it just looks timeless naturally. And also everything I've mentioned previously is just a great reason. Not only why I love film, but also why you should look into shooting film. Anyways, that is it for this video. I just want to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And also, I'd love to hear your thoughts on film in the comments. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.